Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get automatic two finger scroll on Android. Now, before we get too far off into this one, I should let you know that this mod requires root. But in my opinion, this is a really cool way to interact with your device. So it's definitely worth any trouble. Basically, you get two killer features here for free when you scroll up or down with two fingers in any app. An automatic scrolling feature will kick in that'll scroll the entire page you're viewing without any interaction. Then, if you scroll up or down with three fingers, you'll automatically be taken to the top or bottom of the page. So cool stuff all around. This is all made possible by a new app from developer Wadbon Youssef, which just made its debut on the Google Play Store. The app is called Kinetic Scroll, and the core features are completely free. So search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. Now when you first launch the app, you'll have to do a bit of setup. To start, toggle the switch next to the Start Service option, then within a few seconds, Connect Scroll will ask for super user access, so tap Grant on this pop-up. From here, if you want the automatic scrolling feature to be enabled at all times, go ahead and toggle the second switch in the main menu. But let's say you already have some two or three finger gestures in some of your apps, so you'd like to set this up with a blacklist or whitelist to prevent any conflicts. Well, if that's the case, start by tapping the floating action button in the bottom right corner. Then you'll be prompted to enable an accessibility plugin, so tap the button on this pop-up. Next, select the kinetic scroll entry from this list, then toggle the switch at the top of the screen and press OK on the pop-up. From there, head back to kinetic scroll, then tap the plus button again to add a new app to your whitelist or blacklist. Next, select any apps from this pop-up, then press OK, and from here, you can just tap the app on the main menu to add custom rules. Then beyond that, there's a handful of options that you can adjust in the free version. So tap the three dot menu button at the top of the screen and go to settings. From here, this speed of scrolling option might come in handy if you think the automatic scrolling is going too fast or too slow. Then under this fingers header, you can actually change the number of fingers it takes to trigger your automatic scrolling features. You can even have it triggered with just one finger, but I'd recommend against that since it'll take over for the regular scrolling and swiping gestures in other apps. But once you've got everything set up to your liking, you're all set to go. So from within any app, just swipe up or down with two fingers, then the automatic scrolling will kick in to scroll the rest of the page for you. If you wanted to stop it, all you'd have to do is tap the screen anywhere, so that's pretty intuitive. Then let's say you've automatically scrolled down too far on the page, and now you want to get back up to the top to navigate somewhere else. Well, all you have to do for that one is just swipe up with three fingers, then you'll instantly be taken to the top of the page. The same goes for a three finger swipe down, in which case it would just go to the bottom of the page. So it's a really cool way to interact with your device, and it makes dealing with long pages a lot easier. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.